about what we're going to show you with a video of two individuals, two individuals preparing for a week in Las Vegas, just in fact, like some of you may have done. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some protein powder. Vegas for a week, how do you stay healthy? All right, I'll talk to you later. Coconut oil. Coconut oil is the new health food. Now, how does one prepare for a week in Vegas? Ah, bottle of vodka. Perfect way to start. And of course, some martini mix. Perfect way to prepare for Vegas. But wait, hang on a second, I think I need more than that. What do we got here? Ibuprofen, Tylenol, Aleve. How do you choose? You don't, you take the lot. Oh, wait a second. I've got to be healthy. What's this? This is too small. NutriCleanse, that's what I need. NutriCleanse, go big or go home. This will keep me healthy in Vegas. Personalized offer, accept. Oh yeah, could use that. Oh, there it is. Good price. Oh, sorry. Sean! Paul! What are you doing here? I'm getting ready for Vegas. What are you doing here? Me too. I went shopping to get some healthy stuff. What do you get? Fish oil. I got some protein powder. That new beacon stuff here I signed up for. It pinged my phone. Give me a half price on deodorant. So I got one of those. Nice. Mm, mm, hey. Mm. I got one too. What'd you get? Extra large three ply toilet roll. You stand out there, Scalibur? You know it, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my shopping buddy who's going to show you this all, Paul Zacopoulos. Thanks, John. Smelling great. Oh, yeah, that's great. How'd you sleep last night? I uh, slept like a long. Mm, I've right, with a great. bit of a headache, though. <laughs> All right, so you know, that was a fun video to put together and it was about uh, a really popular use case that's going on in industry today. Well, it goes by many names, personalization, segmentation of one, customer centricity. From your feet to space right now is 62 miles. Some of you commute further than that every single day. And those 62 miles shape every single day of your life. Do you feel safe? What are you gonna do today? What my daughter and I, Chloe, will do on the weekend will be predicted by the weather. Will I get home, it's predicted by the weather. I have to buy a couple lip balms while I'm in Vegas because of the weather, and my wife tells me that the weather even affects her hair. And if weather has such a profound effect on us as individuals every single day... I can do that for you on this spot. And let me just show it a little bit differently so you can see that. So let me have a look here what we're seeing. Hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. I see. For the that. health and beauty products for the 19 to 23 year old ones, that's really underproportional. Now, knowing that you have kids in that age, do they actually wash themselves every now and then? Mm. I'm beginning to wonder that myself, actually. A few minutes, and I set up this visualization. So now we can t watch where people are in the store at any time. We can do some simple demographic filtering. And we can even play it as a video to watch people move between departments in real time. So this is the beacon data that you're taking out of the stores that we're now storing in the cloud and you're visualizing it. That's exactly right. I think this would be really, really helpful for marketing, but for some reason, they don't come over here and talk to me very much. Uh, you can't blame them. Can I ask you a question? What visualization engine did you use there, Minecraft? No, actually, I wrote this in R. Just with Andrew, okay. And he was showing me a visualization. His visualization skills aren't so visual. And I was wondering if you can help me kind of look at this stuff on something better I can show to my bosses. Yeah, for sure. So what I've got here is the latest version of Cognos. Let me open up a report for you. What I did was I took that temporal data from Andrew and I threw it up onto a visualization. This is what I got. So this is the data from the cloud going that, in? That's exactly right. That person just sprinted to health and pharma. And so they're doing the right things coming down the side. We track people going to the bathroom? Dude, that's creepy. Look at that farmer person just sprinted at checkout. Okay, for so a second, because I heard the fluid query from Andrew. But sure. You said this is self-service. Yes. Think I could do it? Paul, you're a VP, right? 
uh, at least until the end of the keynote. <laughs> <laughs> this is so simple that even a vice president can do this. Oh, thank you. Uh, rating seasons is coming up soon, but anyways. <laughs> so, all right, so you've brought together this fluid query to bring the data, is that saying the T's? Um, let's go look at health and beauty, health, beauty, and pharmacy. Um, it's a big bubble because there's a lot of revenue coming from there. So let me, let me click on that, and this is what you get. So these, okay, go ahead. Yeah, Help so me. in the bottom right-hand corner, you've got a little chart. What it shows you is all of the different product, uh, product categories within health, beauty, and pharmacy. And it compares the amount of time people are spending in store versus the actual amount of money they're spending. All right, I see a linear relationship here. The more time yeah, you spend in sure. an aisle, the more that you're gonna buy. I see that there's folks that have a significantly smaller amount of time in store. They must be the people running up and down the aisle that I saw, but they're actually buying stuff. Can I look into that market basket? I wanna see what they're buying. Yeah, for sure, it's an unusual outlier. Uh, so let me go into the market basket analysis. So it looks like they're going in, they're buying these various things from other products or product categories. All right, so they're in the pharma aisle buying one thing in pharma, but it's pushing them to buy other products, and they're only in the store for like a couple of minutes. And they're buying gum, deodorant, lip balm, and water. And Mr. Noodles. Hmm. And what is that? Oh, that's what's, dri what's driving that. Yeah, so it says that the driving factor is a protection product. Protection? Paul, mm. we're in Vegas. <laughs> Do you want to know what it is, Paul? Click on it. Let's do it. Let's see what it is. Sunscreen, of course. It's a sunny day. People are running in. They're on the documents way. as well as in-memory column now are using natural language. Those are the kinds of things that we're doing that I think bring together an integrated platform right. and flatten the time to analytics. All right, very good. So I think simply put, I think it's about time and money. So you can basically do things, the complex, getting more complex slower way, or you can do the uh, faster, getting more simple, easier way, and I think uh, uh, our audience knows which way is preferable. Paul, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the sweet smelling, not sweating, protein packed Paul Sagopoulos.